What's happening, Lobos? Today is Thursday, September 29th. Welcome back to La Mesa Live. I'm Braxton, and this is my co-anchor, Rosita. Please stand and join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. If you miss school, you miss out. September is Attendance Awareness Month. Every week during the month of September, students with perfect attendance have a chance to win prizes. Come to school on time every day and don't miss out. Attention Safe School Ambassadors. Please report to the NPR right now for the SSA training. Or teachers, please look at your SSA team list provided to make sure these students are not sitting in your class right now. Thank you. The Fall Chess Tournament begins tomorrow. Check the brackets in the library and let Mrs. Levitt know right away if you have a schedule conflict. We will have two initial rounds of play and students with the highest point total will advance to the finals. Attention all eighth graders. Tomorrow, September 30th, is the last day to register for the Spring Break Washington D Street Trip. If you have any questions, please come and see Ms. Debika in room 621. Don't miss out on this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Hello, La Mesa. The Do It Be Nice Club is reaching out to the San Fernando Valley Rescue Mission with a Thanksgiving donation. We want to reach out to all, to all the staff and students to contribute whatever you can afford. There's a box in the front office with the Do It Be Nice name written on it. It is to the right of Miss Castaneda's desk. Please help in any way you can. Thank you. There will be no sports talk today due to Mr. Patterson being an SSA trainer. Next week, we will meet for sure. Hey Lobos, October is looking awesome. ASB is planning several events and here are a few of them. There will be a spirit event and a costume contest on Halloween, as well as Wear Pink Wednesdays for the entire month. Next Wednesday, October 5th, is the first Wear Pink Wednesday or Wear Pink Day. Wear your pinkest pink to show your support for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. One of La Mesa's more beloved staff members is retiring, and tomorrow is his last day here. The video production class put together this short tribute to show him just how much he will be missed. particular memory, but just the fact that no matter what is going on, Mr. Kerman is always available, willing, and able to help to resolve a situation, to give you a hand, whether it's a personal issue or work issue, assisting students, he's always there for you. Okay, um, so Bob's like my work husband. We joke around like he's my work husband, right? Yes, yes. And this is this is our son, yes. who's very disobedient most of the time. So Mr. Kerman and I have to kind of get together and reel him back in. Um, I'm just going to miss Bob being around. I mean, Bob is see, I can I can feel it now. It's I mean, he's like one of the nicest, kindest human beings. He just is. He's a good friend. There's there's nothing he would do for you. Um, he's. He's there 24 seven and he's just a good man. He's a good, good human being. I'm gonna miss him here, but we're still gonna see him. Yeah. But we're gonna miss him here. Yeah. Cause I'm kind of stuck with <laughs> yeah. me. I like him too, but he's not Bob. He's not Bob. So, um, most of my memories of Mr. Kermit are times we've spent watching football games and basketball games together going to UCLA football games together, uh, playing backgammon at lunchtime, and just just talking and visiting. He's a good, good friend here on campus. Uh, 
Absolutely. Lots of memories with Mr. Kerman. When I was a teacher here at La Mesa, uh, he was my number one advocate for my students in the ELD program. And I want to thank him for that, for being a part of the ELD program for so many years. I'm going to miss him terribly. Um, because Bob and I have a good time. Mr. Kerman and I have a good time with one another, um, joking with one another. Um, he's very funny. Uh, he, he absolutely would help anyone through anything. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna miss him a great deal. Um, uh, hi, Mr. Kerman, uh, and also by, uh, I didn't visit you much last year, but I just know that you're, you're a helpful counselor and we're gonna miss you a lot after your retirement, so have fun. Hi Mr. Kerman, I hope you have a good retirement and thank you for always being here for me since I first came to La Mesa and I'm gonna miss you so much and so is the rest of the Mesa local. Hi Mr. Kerman, hopefully you have a happy retirement and thank you for everything you did for me. Hi Mr. Kerman, uh, hopefully you have a great retirement. I didn't see you much but thank you for all you've done. Hi Mr. Kerman, I hope you have a good retirement. We'll miss you. Mr. Kerman. I'm jealous. You get to retire, and I must continue here at La Mesa Junior High School for a, a few more years. Soon I will join you in retirement. We can play backgammon any time of the day that we want to, instead of lunchtime. Until then, sir, enjoy your retirement. Improve your golf game. Enjoy your family. All the best. Hello, Mr. Kerman, also known as Bob. I want to wish you a very great retirement. Unfortunately, your leaving moves me up on the age scale here and now becoming one of the oldest senior citizens at this place we call La Mesa. But um, you've been a great asset to the school. We'll miss you a lot. And for your sake, go UCLA. We're gonna miss you, Mr. Kerman. You've always been a really helpful person here on campus with all the students and teachers. And we hope you really enjoy your retirement at the beach. Some of us are envious. You a happy retirement. Thank you. Bob, I'm gonna miss you. I am really gonna miss you. And I wish you all the best in the world. Mr. Kerman, thank you so much for everything you've done for La Mesa and the years that you have contributed to student success here. Um, what you've put in for the amazing career fairs that you've done where you've exposed students to countless opportunities for their future. You are going to be missed. You're just a nice, nice man who really cares about people. And I know the students and the staff, all that have worked here before and the students that have been here before are going to miss you and wish you all the best in your retirement. Take good care. You are loved. Thanks, Bob. Thanks. Thanks. For anything, Bob. Thanks for everything. Thanks for all that you do. Way to go, Kirby. Today in history, on September 29th, 1915, the first transcontinental radio telephone call was made from New York City to Honolulu, Hawaii. Today is also the birth date of American basketball star, Kevin Durant. He is 28 years old. The word of the day for today is tutor. It is a noun. The definition is one who teaches or guides, an instructor. A sample sentence would be, in the end, he hired a tutor who was much more effective at helping him learn math. Something you should know about today. Today is World Heart Day, overeating, lack of exercise, Unhealthy food diets and high blood pressure, cholesterol, and glucose levels are all factors which can trigger heart disease and threaten our own lives and those of loved ones. World Heart Day was set up to drive home the message that heart problems can be prevented. The aim is to improve health globally by encouraging people to make lifestyle changes and promoting education internationally about ways to be good to your heart. So on World Heart Day, get involved eat your fruits and vegetables, and get outside. Both you and your heart will feel the benefits. Well, that's our show. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Until then, for Braxton and the entire crew of La Mesa Life, I'm Rosita. Have a thankful Thursday.